Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how we plan out the semester with Singapore Math Primary 2022. So this is the newest version that's come out and I like it so much better. Um, there's only two books that I really have to use and instead of three like in the Singapore Math US version that we were switching from. So this particular one has a home instructor's guide. This is made for homeschooling. The teacher's guide, I believe, is made to be used in a classroom setting. And so if you're homeschooling, you'll wanna get the home instructor's guide. And then this is the student book. So this is, this is um, combining, if you are familiar with the US version, and no worries if you're not, but this is combining the textbook and the workbook into one book now. So that's why I like this so much better because every day we're only dealing with two books instead of three. So much less confusing for me. We were leaving uh, master books math actually, and it was so easy because it said day one, day two, day three, day four, and Singapore math is a little bit more to do than that, a lot more to do than that. <laughs> and it's also uh, doesn't have quite as easy of a of a daily schedule to follow. So at the beginning of each chapter, this is 1A, so this will be for the first semester, and then 1B will be the second semester. Okay, here we go. So table of contents, we have chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, four, five, six, and seven. And this is going to be what you'll aim to cover um, in the first semester or so of the year. Obviously, going slower as homeschoolers is fine, going faster is fine. You wanna take the time that you need to really make sure that your child knows the concept before moving on. That's a big part of Singapore. And so, yeah, no worries if you have to go slower. I'm sure that we will be going slower. Anyways, what it doesn't tell you in the table of contents, it doesn't tell you uh, how many days each chapter is going to take. However, there is a spot in here at the start of every chapter, and I'll go show you where that is. Uh, chapter at a glance, it's called. So each new chapter has this, and this is like gold. It tells you what to do on day one. So if you'll notice here, I'll turn the book for you. Day one of 15, day two of 15, day three of 15. So every chapter is gonna tell you what pages of the workbook to do um, each day that you do math. And so you can refer to this page each day or you can put this in your planner if you like. You can cut it or maybe not cut it if you wanna reuse this. Maybe make a copy or just write it in your planner. Um, what I kind of chose to do is a little bit different. Um, I chose to go ahead and tear out five pages or five days worth of these of, of these assignments and I'll show you how I did that in a little bit. And this is my first graders uh, work like binder here. We have a little binder system that we use for worksheets. And so I have this tab called math. And so I went ahead and put five days worth of math in here. And the edges are perforated so they tear out really easy, which is great because our old primary US version did not do that. So that makes this system for me just really simple because I can see, oh, we just have to do this today. Uh, we just have to do this today. And then I can go figure out with the home instructor's guide what extra you know, manipulatives I need to use or how to explain these pages here. So that's pretty simple. I can go ahead and link how I put this together in the description for you if you're interested in a weekly binder like that. For chapter one of, um, of book 1A, there's going to be 15 days total. And you can see that one of 15, two of 15. So chapter two is gonna have 12 days worth of work. Chapter three is gonna have 15. And then moving on down, you can see how many days. So it's not the same amount of days per chapter, but total for book 1A, there's 93 days. 
And then what I went ahead and figured out was if we do math five days a week, which some days we're not gonna get to that, I get that. Um, some days we're gonna probably do four days a week and maybe uh, catch up at some point or a weekend day or double up on a certain day, but I'm going to aim for five days a week and so for math. <laughs> and so uh, that leaves us with 18 weeks, a little over 18 weeks for finishing all of the worksheets in 1A. So that would be the first semester and um, maybe by Christmas time, this would be my goal. And so then for the spring semester, 1B, I didn't go through and look at how many days in each, but I think it's similar. I think it's gonna be about 18 weeks worth of work. So that should come out to be around 180 days and maybe a little bit longer, probably a little bit longer because I know that I wanna take time to go slow and digest the material, play games, um, and also do something else that I wanted to show you. So I got these for 1B. I actually was just curious what was inside, so I ordered them and wanted to know what they're for. So if you have been wondering what workbooks you need to order for this program, really you just need the home instructor's guide and the student book at a minimum. The program recommends that you also buy this book called Mastery and Beyond. So I don't quite know, because we haven't used this book yet, I don't quite know when to fit this in, but I do know the difference between these two books and I'll explain that to you. I bought all of them just to try and figure this out. So additional practice is going to be on level with whatever chapter you're on. So you, if you find your kid needs a little bit more practice than they're getting in the workbook, then you can give them in the same chapter you're working on with the same type of material you're working on. You can give them um, similar type problems that they can do more of. This book is black and white, so it's not super exciting, but it's very workbooky and it's exactly what they're already working on. So a lot of this can be done independent practice. Now, the thing I really like about this is that when I have days, uh, we have a newborn right now or a three month old. And when there are days when I just cannot get around to teaching math that day, I can give my son a couple of pages out of here on something that's review for him and he can do it independently or ask me if he needs help later when I have a minute. And so this doesn't really require me teaching him a lesson. It's really just review. And so um, this has been great for days, like I said, when actually I need a break or just can't get around to math, he can still do some math. And so um, I actually really have enjoyed having this just for that reason. It's kind of taken some of the guilt I feel sometimes for our skipping days or whatever and giving him something to do on those days. So this would slow us down a little bit if I did that a lot. So I'm not quite sure how that would affect our schedule um, over time because I'm not necessarily a fan of doing um, doing the student book and this on the same days because that's just like an outrageous amount for my son, I think. So um, yeah, so we would kind of do this or this for review. Now Mastery and Beyond, the way that this is different is it is going to be kind of like a spiral review. So um, it's a colorful workbook, just like the whole student workbook is colorful as well, which I love that. This one is colorful and it's a spiral approach of review. So it's going to be testing them or not testing, but um, seeing if they remember what they've learned up till this point. So there might be really old concepts, um, things that they've learned chapters ago or whatever. And so they'll go through that. And this would be um, potentially a great way to test their knowledge or review their knowledge if you wanna take a few days to do that. So um, as far as scheduling this in, I have no idea how, how we would do that yet. Um, I just got the book because these three are actually part of the program's recommended books that you get. Um, but I don't think you have to use this. 
especially if you really like take extra time to do all the activities and explanations and visuals that come in the home instructor's guide. There's a ton in here. So um, yeah, so I hope that that helps you kind of get a grasp of how to chunk out your primary math 2022 from Singapore. I think that you just really need to go the pace of your child and that's something I'm learning is that going slower is okay and um, playing games and keeping math fun even if it gets us off schedule is okay and so I'm hoping that um, I'm hoping that my kids will develop a love of math not just um, you know gotta stay on target gotta keep trudging through these workbooks and so um, slow is fine for me as long as we're learning a new thing and making progress. Okay, so I wanted to show you a little example how you could go through your books and tear out five days worth of work to file away in a weekly binder system. So uh, assuming I'm starting here on chapter six, this is from book 1A, I would come over here into the home instructor's guide from book 1A and this is chapter six called chapter at a glance every chapter starts with one of these and it would tell me there will be 11 days you can see right here 11 days uh, worth of work in this chapter so i will just go through day one day two day three day four and day five and tear those out and stick them in our binder for the week so right here, it says 175 through 178. This is page 175, 176, 177, and 178. So I'll tear these out. There's day one. Okay, next it says 179 through 182. So I just come here, 179, 182 and rip those out of here and that's day two all right so this is the full week's worth of math, and I will go ahead and put that into my daughter's binder here for math. So we have a, a day left this week. I'll take this one out to do with her, but this would then go in there for next week, ready to go. I wanted to quickly point out before I wrap the video up, if you open up your student workbook, and you're wondering, how much am I supposed to do each day? You can go through here, and like I showed you, the pages are on there, but it's also a little simpler, I realize, even than that. So without opening this at all, I can actually figure out what pages to tear out. So um, this is the next one that I'm gonna put in my daughter's binder, but every single lesson is going to have something called learn, going to have something called learn together. So this is kind of more teaching on the same thing. Um, activity, some of the lessons have something called an activity, but some don't. And they all have something called practice on your own. This is the old, if you use Singapore US version before, this part is similar to the, what would have been the workbook. And so, like I said, these are the textbook and the workbook combined together. And so it's a little bit different. This is all practice on your own still. So day two or the next day, whatever day this is, we have another learn, learn together, practice on your own. And let me know if you have any questions and I'd love a thumbs up video if you found this helpful. Thanks.